cyclical ubiquity within human culture, there is a feedback loop between film and societal values. And every time we, as people, attend the movies, we are participating in a shared cultural experience which changes the way that we act and react to one another. The modern zeitgeist of this phenomenon is the 2005 masterpiece, Cheaper by the Dozen Two. <laughs> this film expertly portrays a paradigm shift in American culture between two parenting styles, known to modern sociologists as natural growth, portrayed by Steve Martin and the Baker family, and concerted cultivation, as represented by Eugene Levy and the Murtaugh family. Now, in the clip that I'm going to show you, we see how these values affect the movie and how the movie affects the values. Um, seems that the film clip is not working. Um, it's all right, actually, I haven't seen memorized. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, um, look, look, set up the scene. Um, Eugene Levy here and uh, Steve Martin are in the movie theater and they're watching their children down below them watching a movie. And at this point, um, the son of Eugene Levy is putting his arm around the daughter of Steve Martin. So, so Steve Martin, um, he's like, don't you know the move? You know, he, he pretends to yawn and then he puts his hand around her and he puts his head in like this. And Eugene Levy, who's, um, who's over here, and, wait, all right. Eugene Levy. <laughs> like my son. And then Steve Martin over here is like, your son's a teenager. He has about as much social sophistication as an ape. And Eugene Levy goes, you take that back. And Steve Martin's like, did you just poke me? And Eugene Levy over here is like, no, I didn't poke you. And Steve Martin's like, if you're going to poke me, just poke me. <laughs>